Nisi Love Harmon here of What She Creating Enterprises, and today I will be doing machine basics on the Singer Model 5825C. Let's get started. All right, let's start at the top. So here is the carrier handle, just in case you have to carry your machine here or there. And then we have this place where you place the spool. So this is the horizontal spool. And then we put our thread on there. And then this is the spool holder. All right. So this is where the bobbin is placed on the bobbin winder. We place our bobbin here. And then we'll click it if it's time to wind it. This is the one of the thread guides on the side. And if you're trying to thread your machine, then you'll take it and you put the thread through there. So that's a thread, that's a thread guide. This is also a thread guide here. So when you're trying to thread your machine, you put it there. If you are looking to thread your bobbin, this is the bobbin ten tension dial. So you put this around here and then you'll thread your, and then you'll thread the bobbin as such. So if I turn the machine this way, okay, this is the manual hand wheel. It makes the needle, it makes the needle go up and down, okay? And then you have this indention part that you can push in. That's called the bobbin indention. So if you're trying to wind the bobbin, then you push it in, and then you'll push it out for normal, sew normal sewing. This is the stitch width guide. So you can have your stitch straight, or you can have it very wide just by turning this knob here. This is needle position, so you can have your needle on the left side in the middle or the right side and then you have your pattern selection here so you can do buttonholes um, or straight stitches and then you have your zigzag looks like your blind hem stitch zigzag and then other stitches by just pushing this lever here or there this is the thread take up lever so when you are threading your machine then you use that. All right, so here's the thread take up lever in action. Just like that. Here's the tension dial. So you'll use that and keep it between, well, the manufacturer says two through five. So I usually keep it on four. This has a couple of selections here. This is the um, stitch length dial. So on normal stitches, I usually keep it at three and a half. This is the reverse button. Okay, so you push it in and it makes the stitch go backwards. And then you have your buttonhole guides here. Below the tension dial, there is um, a screw here. It's like a thread, it's for your thread guide. So I put my thread through there and that is the purpose of it. Okay, we have our sewing machine needle here. Okay, so that we'll put the thread through there in the next tutorial. And then this is the needle clamp. Okay, we will use this to remove the needle or insert the needle. This is called the presser foot. So we use this to, um, this is actually the basic presser foot. So you use that to sew your items and keep your, hold your fabric in place. This is the thumb clamp and you use this to remove the presser foot. So you have to kind of take it out and maneuver it. Under the presser foot, these are called the feed dogs. They help move the fabric through the machine. And this is the needle plate here. This has different measurements on it. So these are your seam allowances. I think this is three eighths. And then this is four eighths and five eighths or six eighths or something like that. I'm going to push this lever, I mean this plate down. So I'm push the plate down. And inside I have the bobbin itself with thread on it. So this is what I will use when I'm working with my sewing. So this is the bobbin. And then we have the bobbin holder here. I can't take that out right now. And then um yeah this is like the bobbin case actually assists with taking off the um needle plate if you have to take it off like that so it's not too difficult to take off but if you need to like clean the machine or something like that then you know you can clean all that so let's put that back on and all i did was pretty much lift it up i will show you how to 
accurately do this in the next tutorial or in one of the next tutorials. This is the extension plate. So I'm able to take this off and put it back on. Um, if I need to do a small area, that's usually when I take it off. Like if I need to sew a sleeve or something like that. And then this is the accessory storage box. So you can keep little things in there like your extra presser feet or whatever. So this machine comes with a lot of pieces that I do not have. So, but some of the pieces that I do have, this is called the special purpose foot. Um, and I would use this for my decorative stitches or my zigzag stitches. So that is one foot. And then this is the blind hem foot. So this one came with the machine. And then I have this feed cover piece. So you use this when you're doing buttonholes or darning or use, or doing like embroidery or something like that. So I usually keep these pieces in the storage case so I don't lose them because they're so small. Okay, this is the foot pedal. And so you use that when you are pushing uh, and sewing. We have the output and input cord and then we have the on off switch and it also has the model number here just in case and other things just in case you need that a vent for your sewing machine to breathe so that it won't get too hot on you turn my machine on the back as you can see and this is the presser foot lever so this is a very important piece because it pushes the presser foot down and you need that down when you're sewing and then press it up when you are not sewing. All right, the last part I'm going to show you is one of the most sneakiest parts. If you look here, I'm getting close. This is actually the thread cutter. It's on the back side of the stem that holds the presser foot, which is, it's not usually there for most machines, but maybe on the singer. So I take my thread and I put it through here the indention and it cuts it that's the thread cutter all right ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching this short tutorial of machine basics of the singer model 5825c please subscribe to our channel leave us your video comments like our video as well as let us know how we're doing thanks for watching and happy sewing